Tell me quickly and truthfully, how do we fare? Orc troops have broken through the gates, Your Majesty. They're heading toward the castle. I'm impressed, mortal. You navigated my nightmares without losing your nerve. And yes, you have saved your little king. For now. Of course you will. You have slain my consort as well. I'll get over my loss. But I think I'll keep you here for a while in his stead. Perhaps a century the or two will teach was you a mistake. We can't trust the Red Guards. Perhaps we will. You have certainly proven resourceful in the past. Even if you escape Quagmire, Mortal, you will not escape the my Red vengeance. Could be plotting I can against be patient, us. very patient. Goodbye, for now. There is another woman. You can't compare to her. It's over. Oh, Horsley. How can you be so cruel? Cruel? Now that I see you clearly, it's a wonder I'm so lenient. Be gone. I asked Abbot Durak to go downstairs because I wanted to speak with you for a few moments alone. Tell me something. Do you recall everything that happened in the dream? Frankly, I wish your memory was as hazy as mine. What I do recall, I'm rather ashamed of. I am the King of Stormhaven, the High King of the Daggerfall Covenant, but that damned Daedra reduced me to a pathetic child. I am too, and I owe you for that. And more, really. You were the one who acted nobly in there, not me. You had enough courage for both of us. I was broken. You saw me. I can only hope this experience will make me a stronger, a better king. I appreciate you saying that, but this isn't one I can just shake off. It's my burden, though. And I must bear it. But enough of this dreary talk. Come with me to the throne room. Not much to say, huh? There is no suitable reward for what you've done. Sorry to say it, but your success has probably earned you more responsibility than reward. 
You'll be hearing from me again sooner than you'd like. I apologize in advance. Bah! Are you always so damn noble? You need to lighten up, my friend. Perhaps this will lighten your spirits. It's a small token of my appreciation, but one I hope will serve you as you have served me. You're a hero, and now, a friend, too. Speaking to you now as a friend, and as your king, I wonder if I might prevail on you to assist me with some other matters. One that is a matter of state, and another that is of a more personal nature. Rivenspire is the real problem. The quibbling between the noble houses there seems to have turned bloody. I would send you with my authority to try to restore order. I will join you when I can. And then there's the personal matter. That damn guillotine. For reasons you might recall, I want it demolished. I've given the order to Captain Ernell, but on your way out of Wayrest, I would ask that you ensure it's being done thoroughly. Your help on both these matters is much appreciated. Until that damn guillotine's been dismantled, I won't be able to sleep. And more importantly, until the matter in Rivenspire is resolved, the Covenant will be severely weakened. Honestly, I deserve some of the blame for Rivenspire's troubles myself. After Ransa's war, I didn't trust any of the nobles enough to give them the throne, so I appointed three houses to share rule of the kingdom. Seemed like a smart strategy. So it seems, Morea actually counseled me to appoint a single ruler in Rivenspire more than a year ago. I should have listened, but after the mess with Ransa, there's something about nearly having my head on a pike that's hard to forget. Well, yes. My decision to marry Morea instead of King Ransa's daughter really stuck in the man's craw. He had Wayrest surrounded at one point. I remember, I even dreamt about my head on a pike. Of course, as you know, I've had worse nightmares. Your Majesty, I humbly beg your forgiveness. My mind was poisoned, and I was not myself. I vow to make this up to you. I understand that saving my husband was just the latest in a series of heroic acts to save Stormhaven. This was a threat to the Daggerfall Covenant as a whole. So Alakir thanks you as well. Mm. My sister was always headstrong. She chose Duke Nathaniel and she wouldn't take no for an answer. They were on a state visit when we met the King and the Duke. My wedding was first, followed shortly by hers. Now Lakana is dead, and the Covenant is shaken. My husband and I must travel to Alakir to speak to King Faharajad, my father. We will return my sister to her birthplace, Sentinel. We'll keep the Daggerfall Covenant strong. Lakana wouldn't want her death to imperil all we've worked for.